Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Before we get into this, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. Today's question of the day is going to be, what's your favorite hobby? For me, I'm torn between two actually. Video games and riding dirt bikes. Those are my two hobbies that I love doing. Let me know down in the comments what yours is. And as always, don't forget to turn on the bell notification to get notified every time I upload because you don't want to miss out on that. I will be uploading almost every single time they update this game you guys seem to enjoy it and i enjoy making them with that being said today's showcase is, it is all about the new poseidon urn which if you see in the shop scroll down here i already bought this in the last video so i'm going to go ahead and input the clip right after i show you this here is the poseidon urn you get poseidon which is a secret five cursed urns which is pretty cool you also get a pet in this one which i have equipped right now i'll show you in a second and the voodoo tokens um there's my pet right there you guys will see it in the clip that i show right now of me opening the poseidon urn i will be buying poseidon urn we're gonna go ahead and oh yeah that's right we get the poseidon pet so we're gonna go ahead and show that real quick because i was actually curious to see that poseidon pet there he is there's the, <laughs> there's the poseidon pet right there Look at him in all his glory. I kind of like it. It's kind of like close to my, my color theme going on here. Let's see. So we now have one Poseidon urn. So we're going to go ahead and equip it just to show you the Poseidon urn before we open it up real quick. There is the Poseidon urn right there. Um, Pretty good looking urn, I will admit. Let's go ahead and open it up real quick because I'm sure you guys are here to see that. Probability is 100% Poseidon. Maybe we could get a shiny. I'm not going to wait for a shiny event because I want to get the video out as quickly as possible because you guys want to know and see. And of course, I I'm just... I I I'm The wind's crazy here today. Now it probably looks like beacon shining through the wall, through the, the window right now. Hold on, let me fix that and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, hopefully that doesn't happen again. But here we go. We're going to open up the Poseidon urn. Three, two, one. There we go. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Now nah, we got a regular. But there he is. There's the Poseidon. Boom. We're going to actually go ahead and check out Poseidon. There he is. Okay, so go ahead and click on him there's 70 that exist that exist i'm the 70th person to get poseidon ooh, ooh. stop it get some help anyways we're gonna view him 45 th okay so does he have he's a holy a god and poseidon the lore the god of the sea needs no introduction poseidon keeps the balance in the oceans all its inhabitants report to him and there are a few whose power could ever hope to contest his claim to the throne info god of the seas doesn't say what he buffs it says he boosts but it doesn't say what he boosts i'm assuming summer event towers but it has 45,000 damage with 0.2 speed it has 30 range i'm assuming there's splash damage here it does not say anything about his abilities whatsoever it doesn't say who he boosts if he has splash what he does i would assume he has some sort of like aoe splash damage and or maybe full aoe okay so there's the clip um as you guys can see, he is a very decent tower. Uh, we're going to go ahead and unequip one Amonra because I already know that one of the maps we just played in that video, actually, we can beat quite easily. But I'm going to go ahead and beat a different one for this video of the new Summer Cursed event or whatever it's called. So let's go ahead and equip Poseidon so you guys can see it. By the way, I'm not going to put on any stats or anything, any curses or anything. So you guys can show you guys the base stats. But if you guys didn't see, I don't know if I implemented the clip or not, but he does 45,000 damage, 0.2 speed, a 1.2 boost, which is basically i believe 20 percent boost he does not show what he does aoe he does not show what he boosts same with all the other summer event towers that if you guys want to see go to my last video that i posted we got two out of the three towers from the uh, new urn i don't know what the new urn is called but we got two out of the three towers from the new urn we didn't get the one percent of course but we got the 10 percent the 89 percent and one of them also has a boost and it doesn't show it either. It also has AOE and it also doesn't show it. The only way I knew it had AOE was it actually showed down here in the info, but it didn't show over here where it normally shows. I don't know why they did that for this event. For some reason, the only way to know what a tower does really is to play a match with it. Anyways, and he has 30 range. Remember, he's base stat, so he's not going to be the best. But once you upgrade him, like curse upgrade and stuff like that, he'll be way better. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and go. I think we went to the pirate town. By the way, he's 30,000 to place, I just realized. We're going to go ahead and go into crap cove to showcase poseidon here we go here we go we're gonna go play it on normal mode because i don't want to challenge myself any more than i have to while trying to showcase a tower so we're gonna go ahead and go normal hopefully we start with 5k uh oh that's awkward we should be able to still beat it once the wave ends i think we'll get enough if not we're gonna have to restart this we're gonna cut all this and just restart okay now we have 5k perfect 
There we go. Get a couple of these down and we're chilling. Okay, so uh, we need to make money before we can even showcase this guy. So we're going to go ahead and go like this and spawn trap them. So obviously, guys, this is going to be a quite expensive tower because base, it's 30k to place. So I'm assuming the final upgrade is going to be a lot. Hopefully, it's really, really good. I don't know what it's going to do, though. Anyways, here we go. So we could show the base stat. Um, here he is. I'm going to go ahead and place him here because he might be able to solo this. I'm not quite sure. Here he is. He is a full AoE tower, guys. Full AoE tower. Big news. Big news here. Big news. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? What's He's not an instant damage tower. He's a it takes it's an over the over amount a, <laughs> What? A certain amount of time that it takes him to do damage over time. I'm not Englishing very well. What well, duh? But here we go. So here's the base stat of Poseidon. As you guys can see, the range is AoE, all AoE. Um, damage 5k, 0.2 speed, 30 range with a 0.5 boost. We go ahead and get the first upgrade. 8,000 damage, 0.2 speed, 30 range with a 1.1 boost. Go ahead and get him to level 3. 12,000 damage, 0.2 speed, 30 range, still a 1.1 boost. Then we get him to level 4, and he does 20,000 damage, 0.2 speed, 30 range, 1.14 boost. Once again, still don't know what the boost does. Go ahead and get him the last upgrade, which is 45,000 damage, 0.2 speed, 30 range, 1.2 boost, which is basically 20% boost. To what? We have no idea. But we now found out that he is a full AoE tower that does 45,000 damage with 0.2 speed and 30 range. So he can come in handy. I don't know how well he's going to be. I'm sure you could get some crazy teams with him maybe like damage wise this is him oh and this is also look the little pet next to the full size poseidon right there little poseidon next to big poseidon <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and place our demon maid and see how much we can actually try and buff these guys here i'm gonna 77 000 damage with no curse and he's not upgraded at all like death token wise doing 7700 a hit that's pretty good now let me know down in the comments what you guys think of it rate him a, a scale of one to ten um like i said my scales are usually wrong but i think honestly he's kind of like a kairos i think if you upgrade him a bunch he'll probably be just like a kairos so maybe like a eight or not probably like an eight ish 7.58 out of 10 for me on this tower it's definitely if you guys do not have any like aoe that's decent whatsoever uh like if you don't have a kairos this tower is pretty dang good we're gonna go ahead and speed through this match real quick so we can quickly kill the boss show you guys that and then yeah this will be the preside showcase of course nothing compares to mr amon Ra himself his aoe is just insane i have a level 5 shiny amon Ra. of course he is doing stupid amount of damage oh by the way you could play six of them i didn't even say that in the last video of how many you could place oops i just realized that oh well is what it is but we have got amon Ra down doing stupid damage that should not exist man i wish i had a pharaoh but i am not that lucky nor do i have the type of stuff to trade for a pharaoh so oh well amon Ra is going ahead and carry us through this and then we're going to go ahead and beat it so you guys can see the boss if you haven't seen the boss this this is crab cove i believe i did the pirate pirate town or something like that in the last one i did the, uh, the i think it's the easier one and this one's kind of like the harder one okay so here's the crab boss two million health wow he is ugly it's just like the last what the heck it's a pirate man he's gonna die quickly because my almon raws are just stupid overpowered but that's the boss like the last one um it's very aoe based you don't have aoe you're probably not gonna be able to beat most of these so like i said sidon's a good aoe and he'll come in handy so let me know what you guys think of those look you can hold the little tokens <laughs> that's so cool just hold the little token from him. If you guys didn't see the last video and you don't want to go back to it, um, basically for the Cursed Seas event, or we end this video, the Cursed Seas event, you beat one, two, three maps. You go in here and you summon just like the old Crypt Kings, go into the Blackbeard's treasure, summon, and you get a random thing from it. There's, I believe, five different things you can get. No, six different things you can get. You get the map right here. You could get the tower. You could get a premium urn. Or you could get one of these three gems and one all three of those gems end up turning into something over here which you can then purchase which is towers there's one tower here that costs a certain type of gems one tower here that costs a certain type of gems and another one over here that costs a certain type of gems and yeah so i'm pretty much gonna leave it off there if you guys enjoyed of course don't forget to hit that like button that subscribe button turn on the bell notification get notified every time i upload and the question of the day was what's your favorite hobby mine is riding dirt bikes and playing video games yeah that that's been the 
uh, Poseidon Showcase. Show him one more time before we get out of here. 45,000 damage, 0.2 speed, 30 range, and a 1.2 boost. It does not say what his abilities are, but we found out he has full AoE. It is like a tick AoE over time. It is not like Amon Ra where it's an instant AoE full damage, but yeah. So with that being said, it's been real and it's been fun. So that means it's been real fun. I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace. We'll